So just like how food farmer, I'm sure you have heard that name, has brought in a revolution in food labeling and has created awareness towards the misrepresentation by food tech companies or food companies. I want to create a similar, if not revolution, but awareness about fake promises being delivered to our young generation by several colleges and universities. Now, let me start by telling you that this is not a college bashing video. I'm not here to criticize any particular college. I'm making this video in general because I have seen this happening over and over and over again. And it has destroyed more generations of young people than it has given life to. So I am really worried that the next generation should not be victimized the way I or many of my subsequent generations were victimized by these so-called academic system. See, when you pay money for something, you get that something, right? So you buy Horlicks, you get Horlicks. You, you buy a car, you get a car, right? So they all have a shelf life. But when you go to a college and when you say, okay, I want to take admission in a biotech degree, they'll talk about everything, including the high fees they charge, but they will not talk about one simple thing is, how would they place? How many place people got placed? What's their strategy to get people jobs. Now, the moment we bring this up in front of colleges, they give us an excuse. In fact, I'm going to tell you multiple excuses. They give us this excuse that, you know, that's not our job. Our job is to train you. You have to look for the job, right? But why it is not happening in the IT industry? Why it is happening in the biotech industry? The reason is colleges are not trying enough, right? They have to do that. And that this is the reason I'm making this video because if you are getting into a college because this is going to be admission season you're going to get into a college and then if they don't have a solid strategy to place you after your course then my dear friend probably you wasted your life or money or you broke the bank pursuing a degree but now you're not getting a job I firmly believe that every child if given the right opportunity can grow but the truth is that's not happening. Now let's look at the size of the academy and the size of industry. Except Biocons Engine, Dr. Reddy's and some pharma companies, if we just remove them, the biotech startup ecosystem, if we have to compare with the biotech academia who are to give you know, training students, the biotech academia is earning 100 times more than the biotech startup ecosystem. <laughs> yes, you heard me right. They are earning 100 times more. But how many companies came out of a university or a college in the last 20 years? Out of 25 years? Zero. Probably one or two. Maybe that two from IITs, not from anywhere else. Right? What is going wrong is our colleges are not helping our young generation move forward. And when you will go for admissions, many young parents uh, you know, approach for their children, plus two, ho gaya, now they want to get into bachelors or masters, they come to me asking which college is good or bad. So, of course, I'll be making a lot of videos about that this season as well. So you can subscribe and of course you will get a lot of insight. But let me tell you this, that if you ask for placement, they will give you excuses. So be careful when they give you excuses because academic people or admission official officers are smart enough to dodge those questions. They would have dodged those questions multiple times in the last five, ten years, they will just play around with words. But you have to know when they are playing around with words and you have to know when they are really telling the truth. Now, one of the best ways to know is if a college is straight away displaying these many people got placed and this is the company. Right. You take a picture of that, go and check on LinkedIn that person's name and is he really working there. You know, most of the truth can be found out by this, but you know, many colleges won't even, you know, show that. They will say, yeah, uh, we had placements, a lot of companies came, which companies? What are the names? Who got placed, right? This has to be there. Sometimes they will say after bachelors, they don't hire. So most of our students go for masters. When masters happens, they will say most of the master student went for PhD or abroad. They didn't sit for placement, even though we arranged for placements, right? So you should know that they are lying about it, right? So don't break your bank for a degree, which is not paying you. Instead, you have to look at skills. Now coming to the curriculum, they also divert your attention towards the curriculum. See, I'm not afraid of such colleges. I know they will send me some legal notices. I don't care. But my point here is they should not mislead my students, children of our country uh, who are going to take our nation forward. This is complete disservice to our nation by lying about it. If you don't have placement, say that, boss, I don't have placement, I can teach you. Fine. Then I can say the new charge less fees. 
on one hand they are charging 7 lakhs 10 lakhs one college has got a fees 25 lakhs for two years msc right what you will you're selling diamonds but after that there's no placement right so even though you are getting in knowing that there is no placement you're not questioning it you have to question you have to question your hod you are during at the time of admission itself you should question the admission officer right and sometimes they will say the industry is very small small by the time you will graduate we will have the placement don't buy promises see at biotechnica we have a placement cell we are placing students and we know it's very easy to place it's not that difficult all you have to do is you know you have the right talent if you have the right talent you can place right and now coming to you should also ask about internship how would you assist about the internship now i'll tell you how they dodge this question they'll say after first year itself you can do internship how can somebody in first year of btech do internship because first year is you know he just knows the basics he cannot do internship they are lying after the third year okay the person can go to the industry and do some internship right so even there it is college in academia job to assist in internship not just that oh, hey go do some internship and come that's not how it should be children they don't know the professors have to give some guidance or the hod or the management they have to or the placement officer they have to do some hard work to get the internship for the students and if not of course biotechnica is always there we are posting internship you can do so by your own self now in the era beyond covid 19 uh, i don't feel that biotech industry is not growing i can see that opportunity happening everywhere just yesterday we had the aiml webinar and you can if you watch the recording it's there on our youtube channel you will realize that there's so much we can do with all this and it's happening already companies are hiring for these skill set but the problem is the previous generation has been betrayed and the next generation has to be asking questions see science is the art of asking questions so before you enter a scientific degree a professional degree a vocational degree you should ask that question to your college that boss placement guy where is the placement right and if they have the right answers then you take admission if not then you negotiate on the fees that you, then you if you are not able to give me placement then you should reduce the fees right the problem is there there are too many students and these colleges know that somebody will anyways take admission because our strategy is like that we'll show some google ads you can buy phone numbers of people through google ads you cannot buy their trust you can only buy their trust if you have the results and result is not measured anymore in marks which the university gives it's measured in how many children got placed so let us start this revolution today by asking a question a polite question to our college management are you ready to place our children if not then why did you take that fees right that fees has become the salaries of your employees but that fees was the hard earned money of my parents so my parents deserve to know are you going to give placement me or my children if not then refund the fees or take some steps so that people don't have to go out to learn and do internship or workshops and then they get placed right you do it in house biotechnica is here we will assist any college which comes and wants any kind of skill development or anything related to placement we have a placement cell we have we are doing it already we can help you there also we are going to conduct free i should not say workshop it will be a 3 days probably placement mela or a life science career and education fair it will be called as leaf 2025 it will be happening somewhere in towards the end of april and you all are invited if you are subscribed to biotechnica you will be getting a free pass you will be able to attend and it will not be offline it will be online so parents and uh, students can attend it online a lot of hrs will come and they will share their insights a lot of colleges will also come they will share their strategy how they are placing students and uh, we will continue making these kind of eye opening videos for our subscribers now i know a lot of you say that there is no opportunity in the biotech industry that's not truth the truth is the colleges are not trying enough and the industry is suffering they come to us this they tell the story and then we place our students right so my point here is let us encourage youngsters to start companies and let us tell the youngsters that there are jobs and opportunities if you are inclined you can get it if your college could not do it no problem we will do it for you but let's not lose hope let's be positive towards the future of our country about the sector and let's win together because we are here for each other thank you so much for watching this video see you soon in the next one till then keep shining take care bye bye